In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Oracle Linux 8.2 on AWS EC2 machine. Create EC2 machines now. Launch an instance. I'll be using Oracle Linux. So if you search with this ID, you will get different versions of Oracle Linux. I'll be selecting Oracle Linux 8.2. and T2 large is the right size for us, which has a two vCPUs and eight GB of memory. We require one instance at the moment and subnet will be subnet one. Public IP should be enabled and then next storage. For root volume, we need 10 GB. For E01, we require 30 GB and for swap we require 20 GB. We are not adding any tags and the security group. Either you can choose an existing security group or create a, create a new security group. So I'll be creating a new security group and it requires access to port 22 on my IP then launch. I have my existing key pair otherwise you can create a new key pair. I'll be naming this instance as OAM node one. Use the public IP to create a session. And select my private key. I'm naming it as OAM node one. Now we need to configure this particular EC2 machine. Login as root user. Now let's set a host name to it. And preserve that particular host name. Even after reboot. And add this host name in etc host file and add it here. Once host name is set, I need to configure my partitions. First I'll configure swap, which is XPDC, make swap switch on the swap get the uuid of that particular volume and add that volume in fs tab so that whenever this machine restarts it automatically get attached to it and next i need to configure my uh, e01 mount which is xvdb once partition is created i'll create a directory u01 and then mount that particular directory to our volume and get the uuid of that volume and add it in FS tab. Once we configure our volumes, we need to set Oracle related par parameters in limits.conf. And now we need to set parameters in cctl.conf. These are Oracle recommended settings and can be applied to any uh, virtual machine. Now let's configure SSHD. Change it to yes. Password authentication should be yes, so that we can log in as Oracle user and public key authentication should be yes. And client interval should be more than 600. Let's restart SSHD, create a group, create a user and add user to our DBA group. Change password of Oracle user change password of root user and change the ownership of u01 to oracle now we need to install all these rpms i have installed all the rpms now we need to open up port numbers 7001 is admin server port number and 14100 is oem server port number and 14150 is policy manager port number and 5556 is node manager port number and reload firewall what will happen now is vm will allow incoming traffic on these port numbers otherwise this concludes oracle linux 8.2 installation on aws from ec2 machine